Hello guys and welcome to today's video. So it's been requested by Coach Zach that I bring you guys a video on sweeping and reverse sweeping. So once you've done your push up warm up and you've done some other things to get your blood flowing, get your legs nice and warm so that you have mobility, we're going to get straight into this um, sweep tutorial. So whenever you're doing a batting drill or demonstrating anything, make sure that you get the real feel. So always have your gloves on. You don't want to be doing this without gloves on. So make sure you get the correct feel. So the first thing that we need to know about the sweep is that we need strong quads. Because we're going to be getting on that ground position and we need to rotate hard. So one thing that I've seen a couple of guys do is they stand in their stance and when they get ready to sweep, their hands sort of come down with them. You have no power in the shot at the moment. So what I can advise is that when you're in your sweep position, so my normal stance is like this and leaning forward a little bit. The reason why I lean forward a little bit is because as soon as I lift my foot, where does my body go? Forward. So that, that forward little lean forces me to always go on the front foot. Right. So... What I want you to do is, as you go down onto your knee, the first thing that you want to do is, get your foot out and then drop this knee. So this leg is normally straight when you're driving, and now it's going to be dropped, so it drops. But you need to be very careful to not drop your hands along with the rest of your body. So you have to try and keep your hands up here, so that you have a full swing. So, I don't want you to lower everything. I want you to lower just your legs and keep your hands up there and swing through hard. Now, the next thing, you need to make sure that this right leg or left leg if you're left-handed needs to touch the ground. The reason for that being is if it's in the air, look at the angle of your bat. The angle of your bat is incorrect. Where it's like this, there's more chance of you hitting the ball. Now the next thing is placement of the ball. So if I'm standing on off stump, I mean uh, middle, and the off spinner is bowling. Generally you're going to go with a sweep shot for an off spinner because it's spinning from the off side towards the leg side for a right handed batsman. That makes it easy. For you to go from the off side towards the leg side that's my general rule you can do what you want but generally for off spinner i like to play the sweep if the ball is on the off stump it's going to be more of a pull towards between mid wicket and square leg but more towards square leg so it's not a complete square shot if it if the ball bounces on middle it's there and square now when the ball bounces a little bit more to the leg side there's two options that you can go for here either you can go for a full sweep shot and it's gonna go um, just behind square leg so it's gonna go between 45 and square leg but it's still that full sweep shot knee on the ground full shot but the ball is gonna end up going behind square so what we can do is that shot or a paddle i wouldn't really advise the paddle unless you're really skillful and you've got the touch you maybe have a couple of runs and you're seeing the ball well then i'd go for the paddle shot the paddle shot looks like so it's when the ball's on the leg side it's just from here and your bat just goes down you get bat on ball and it should go past 45 and you maybe pick up one or two so it looks like so just to get your hands or get your bat on the ball and get a couple of runs there. Now, let's talk about what this shot offers. It offers many things. First of all, it offers runs. It offers you to get off strike. And it's kind of, as an off spinner myself, if a batsman plays a good shot, you feel, you feel threatened, you feel pressure, and their errors start to come in. And then you start bowling wide balls, you start bowling full tosses. So it's very important as a batsman to make sure that you get your shots in 
so that the bowler can feel pressure and, he, and the batting will become easier. When a batsman plays a sweep shot, it's a very aggressive shot. So, and it's, and the, it's an aggressive shot, but it's low risk. If you play this shot right, you will never go out. If it's on the offside or on middle and you play your sweep shot, it's going to be spinning outside leg. Therefore, LBW won't count because there's a shot offered. Then on the leg stump, it's also going to go way down leg. The only one that you really need to be worried about is the one that's pitching on off stump or outside off that's going to be spinning in. Just make sure you keep your eye on the ball. Make sure you get your head close to the ball. Keep your hands up, remember. And then watch the ball all the way and then sweep. Right. So it could offer you to get off strike and it puts pressure on the bowler. Right. So now we move on to the reverse sweep. So the setup is very similar in the sense that this leg goes out and the knee drops. The only thing that we're going to change is as soon as I normally play a reverse sweep on a leg spinner but that's your choice if you want to go for extravagant shots that's up to you depends what type of batsman you are then for the leg spinner you the okay so your setup is normal the first thing you're going to do is rotate your hands to this side in the rotation you need this bottom hand and the left hand to swivel a bit once you get into this position, it's then when you play the reverse sweep. So everything sort of happens simultaneously. You're going to go down, and while you're going down, you're changing your grip, and then you're hitting. So it's a shot that's going to happen very quickly, and you need to make sure that you have strong forearms. Because if you don't, it's going to end up taking you a lot of time to change the direction, and then your shot's going to look like that and you're going to end up wobbling off. So, with anything, you need to be strong. So get your solid base with your legs solid here. You're not going to be wobbling. Then your hands, so that when you swing, you don't wobble or fall over. And we're going to be swinging hard here. It's not a, or you can do a little glide like this and get it there to third man. But I really wouldn't advise that. If we can get it past point or even over point, it's going to be a much better shot. So we need to get power in it. You need to have strong arms, strong shoulders to get it over. So once you set up and your hands have rotated, it's a, it's a forceful shot. Sorry, I'm falling over there. But it's not a shot where you can just throw your arms at it and have sloppy arms. Same with a sweep. You can't have wrists rotating like this and just trying to hit the ball. It's a shot where you set up and you go at it hard and you make sure that you connect the ball. It's a low risk shot if you do it right. So let's get into practicing it. What you guys can do is you can have your parents drop a ball in front of you and then you can either get into that position and sweep and back up normal stance and sweep or you can have them just drop it and you can be in this position and just sweep it sweep it and vice versa for the for the um, reverse sweep you can just have your parents drop it down and it's normally going to be a little bit in front of you where that reach is so that you can do that right one thing that I left out about the sweep is the positioning of your front foot. Now, you don't want it to be too close to you like so. You're going to end up falling over your knee. Make sure that your knee doesn't go over your front foot. And body positioning. Your body can't be down like this because you're not going to get power like this. And it also can't be backwards because that's when the risk comes in of you getting it in the air. If you do have a couple of runs and you do want to go over the top, don't lean back. Just put more force into it, but also don't force it too much because then you're going to end up edging it or hitting the toe of the bat. 
So what I would advise is to always keep it on the ground. So your foot is here and it normally forms about a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to sweep hard. Now, if it's on the off side, what I generally do is I just open up a little bit more so it gives me room to go more to the mid wicket side. And if it's more on the leg side, you close your stance a little bit or you bring this foot a little bit more towards middle so that you can just hit your arms around it nicely and paddle it down to 45. And that's it for today, guys. So make sure you stay fit and make sure you get those sweeps practiced so that we can get into the game and start putting some pressure on the bowlers, start making some runs. Enjoy, guys.